Good afternoon. It's August 23rd. And I'm around and about picking some figs and going to make some something out of them. I don't know quite yet, quite what yet. And when I was out there, I noticed a couple Italian 258s that were really looking good. So I'm going to take a little walk out there and see what happens. Wonderful time of year. We had some very heavy rains from the leftover hurricane that spun by us off the coast of New Jersey and up into New York area. Got a little bit of fig cracking. This is what happens when you get a lot of rain. This one's holding up pretty good, but not as good as a fig grower would like, of course. See? But lots of them are perfect, and they'll be fine. So I'm gonna pick these before they spoil. These and a whole bunch of others. And make a, cook it down, make a jam or perhaps a fig bar or something. It is so pretty. Oh, finally, the sun came out. There's some smiths here. I just picked a bunch of them, which was in the beginning of the video. And I saw some Italian 258, so I thought, let me run out here. And I got them in the last video, but I want to get them again. I love Italian 258. And now you will note, in the beginning of my last video, I discussed that I was, I was contemplating taking the figs out of the rain I knew the rain was on the way. I saw it on the radar, some of the rain. So I I carried some of these varieties, some of my favorites, and stuck them in the greenhouse. Here I've got Italian 258, Genovese Nero and Italian 258, uh, hanging out at the greenhouse to get the golden sun. I, I don't like putting them in here, but it's it works when you need to shelter the figs from extensive rains, torrential rains, copious amounts of rains that we get in New Jersey. This is my my preto, which I filmed. Look at that. See that? It's cracking. But I filmed a beautiful one in the last video. And these are starting to swell. Happy to say. So it will stay here and it gets sun up until about noon. So that takes care of the, the requirement of keeping those enzymes produced in the leaves and which once parted into the figs uh, gives them a, a better taste, I think, than if you leave them in the greenhouse. And so I almost never leave my figs in the greenhouse. I let them hang out if I can. Here's a, here's a beautiful... Italian 258. There's quite a few Italian 258s getting ripe. But in fact, I should have, I've been remiss lately. I'm just, I just can't keep up with things. I, I see another, I should have picked this yesterday. <sighs> Look at that. Another two, Italian 258. Let's slide it over here. Let's pick this one. These are gonna be beautiful. I won't be remiss. Let's, let's pick this one here. Yeah, this one here looks really good. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Let me switch hands. It's hard enough for me to do this, but it seems like I have to have my couple ants. Oh, boy. Everybody wants a piece of the pie. Oh, look at this. Oh, God. See, this is what makes growing figs worthwhile. Even with all the sacrifices and the costs associated and the work and the preparation in the spring, the, the winter storage, shuffling them about. Here we are on the 23rd, I believe, of uh, 
August. Another ant. But look at that. That is that is what it's all about right there. Now I can tell you I can tell you that this fig is going to be I mean apex. It's an apex fig. Hold on a second. Here we go. Mm. Grow Italian 258. It is one of the best cultivars. Perhaps even the, the best, but I don't like saying that, and I don't, because Black Madeira is superb, too. And I have Black Madeira right as well. Where are they? Hi. Uh, what did I do? Oh, here they are. There's a whole bunch of the long yellows. Getting, look, at, look at the size of that thing. Look at, look at that. Wow. Long yellow. Wow. They're good. Look, but look at that. Not as good as this. I'm sorry. They're just not. No contest. Hold on a second. Mmm. You know, I have videos where I've eaten the Breba of Italian 258. It does make some Breba. And uh, they were huge and they were delicious. I can tell you that you might want to watch those videos. I'm, I'm not kidding you. I think they were the number one Breba that I've ever eaten before. And here we have Black Madeira. I've eaten a couple of these. Here, some that are going bad. Mm. That's not, oh yeah, that's bad. That's what I get for fooling around, see? Not good. Spoiled. And I don't, but I won't let any more spoil. Uh, he's spoiled. I just weren't, I wasn't quick enough. That's what happens. Yeah, I gotta show you my failures as well as my successes. Dumb. I could have picked these before they spoiled. I saw that they were ripe, but I'm always running around. It doesn't take very long for it to go from here <laughs> to here. Okay. Here I've got Italian, a very large Italian 258. Hanging out of the greenhouse to grab the afternoon golden sun. And these are going to ripen. I've even got them tied so that the wind won't blow them down because I've got all the panels out of the greenhouse on the top, both sides, and of course up there too. I'm just trying to provide some shelter from the rain, nothing else. There's quite a breeze that blows through here all the time. It doesn't really heat up anymore, maybe a little bit more than outside. And the primary purpose is to keep them dry during rainy periods, and you can see how stormy it is out there. I mean, we had rain this morning. It's been just raining, horrible. So I brought them in. Here I have some, this is a, a really, uh, I think, productive Black Madeira. So we're going to be scrupulous with this one. I'm not going to let them go to waste. And here I have a, a little baby, it was a baby, no, no longer. It's already a couple years old, but it's a Italian 258. And you can see that they're swelling. Yeah. Italian 258 and there's lots lots of fruit on this little tree and I'll be devouring every single one of them I moved my Rondi Bordeaux's back because they're they're just about done you see that's the beauty about having figs that maturate at different times during the season 
You want to have your early figs. Early, 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 early. I've said it a thousand million times. But, see, these will produce still a few more. These are the earliest producers this year. And there's still some. And they, they're one of the, my, you know, I'm just not going to say it. I think all in all, maybe I should say it, maybe I shouldn't, I don't want to. I mean, if I had to pick one, wow, how about I just say this? Because of how prolific it is and early, 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 but then look at the late figs. I mean, you know, you want your Italian 258s and your Black Madeira because there's another right one right there. That's a good one, too. Let's, let's pick it. I know that's right. I'll give this to Debbie. Well, that one's right too, so I'll give these to Debbie. Let's see. Let me open this up. Wow, look at that. That is a beautiful fig. Can I get it in focus? I don't want to focus on it. I can't see too good, but it doesn't want to focus. Okay, well, what are you going to do? But getting back to this, in this, in this zone, 7A in crappy New Jersey. I would have to say that Ron D. Bordeaux is my most valuable player on the team. This this does not want to focus. Okay. Anyway, they're just about played out. You see, there's still more figs, and they're gonna all get ripe, beautifully ripe. And I picked a bunch this morning, which I'm going to, not a bunch, about eight or nine that I'm going to add to the mix, whatever I'm going to create from the figs that I'll be picking. And I'm going to go around now and pick a lot of figs uh, from my other fig trees, my in-ground trees, and so that they don't go to waste before they go to waste and cook them down. So I thought I'd make this quick video. You know what? There's another ripe. There's another one right there. Well, we can let that one go until tonight anyway. But not much longer. Okay. Be back in a spell.